In this lesson, we're going to do a couple more examples that look slightly different from the ones we've done previously. So before, we always had a variable plus or minus a number on one side. Um, and then we decided, okay, we're going to do basically the opposite of what we're doing to the variable, right? So if we were adding something to our variable, we would subtract to get rid of it. So here, it's a little bit different. Here we have 15 plus our variable, right? So we're adding the variable to 15. But understand that doesn't change our strategy at all because, you know, 15 plus y is the same as y plus 15, right? So if we were adding 15, we would subtract it to get the 15 away from the y. So we're going to still do the same thing. So we're going to subtract 15 from both sides. Of course, we have a little bit of scratch work to do here. 5.4 minus 15 is 5.4 plus negative 15, which I know is going to be a negative answer because 15 is a bigger value than 5.4, but to figure out what that answer is, I need to subtract the two numbers. And so we get 9.6, so the answer is negative 9.6. All right, in this example, we have 6.5 equals negative 9.2 plus w. Okay, so um, I want to get rid of negative 9.2, so let's add is opposite. So let's add 9.2. And I can just add right here because they have the same, uh, same number of digits. So 5 plus 2 is 7, and 6 plus 9 is 15. So our W is 15.7.